Leading figures in the mining and rare earth metals industry are turning their attention to an innovative frontier, and that is outer space, specifically the moon. Termed by many as the lunar gold rush, the idea of extracting resources from the moon is now gaining momentum. So a prevailing notion among scientists is that the moon holds a plethora of valuable resources. One such resource is helium-3, which is an isotope of helium with potential applications in nuclear energy. While scarce on Earth, the moon may hold an abundant supply of it. Rare Earth elements are also believed to be present on the moon. These elements have diverse applications ranging from computer hardware all the way up to pharmaceutical development. And as the name suggests, uh, rare Earths are becoming increasingly scarce on Earth, which is driving interest in space-based mining even higher. And it's looking like it is only a matter of time before that very thing happens. The specifics of lunar mining remain largely uncharted territory. However, certain scientists do speculate that initial lunar exploration could be carried out by robotic missions. NASA has set a goal to initiate moon mining within the next decade. The agency also plans to collaborate with commercial partners to extract lunar soil and explore available resources. Several startups have secured substantial venture capital to explore space mining. Some are developing technologies to survey the moon's surface from aerial perspectives, while others are constructing robots for physical exploration. Although space exploration has attracted significant venture capital, which has, uh, I actually couldn't believe this, it has amassed over 200 billion US dollars in the past decade. Yeah, space exploration is, uh, pretty expensive. So although that has kind of gained the most attention, space mining and and asteroid mining remain speculative and very underfunded. Space mining has yet to be realized and is yet to, I guess, even be proven. The technical hurdles are very considerable. Selecting suitable asteroids for mining relies on existing data from researchers with the accuracy often unknown. And some key uh, players here. So uh, Lunar Outpost stands as a leader in space robotics and lunar surface mobility. Their flag ship rover uh, called the Mobile Autonomous Prospecting Platform. Quite a, a tongue twister of a name there. That is set to become the first commercial rover to venture to the lunar south pole in 2023. Meanwhile, uh, Trans Astra is uh, another group and their mission is to substantially harvest resources from the moon and asteroids reshaping history. That is what they are uh, planning to do with their endeavors. That actually, uh, actually sounds kind of epic. And then Astro Forge is is another group. They're actually a startup, and it looks like they are gearing up to mine asteroids for metals. And Astroforge plans to launch its first two missions this year, including a flyby of a near-Earth asteroid. All of this sounds pretty cool, and I gotta say, if you really think about it, it probably was inevitable that this did happen. I've always heard of people talking about, like, you know, oh, eventually we're gonna have to move humans to the moon, like, to live at, but, you know, you, you don't really get much conversation over, you know, non-renewable resources. Resources. I mean, obviously there is, well, as the name suggests, you know, there's there's only a certain amount on the Earth. And it really kind of is uh, obvious, but it's not really discussed that much, that, you know, yeah, uh, eventually we would have to go to the moon to mine some of these resources. It's very interesting that they are saying that this is probably going to happen within the next decade. I, I could definitely see that happening. I know I'm kind of being Captain Obvious here, but it is kind of crazy that, like, I don't know, 200, 250 years ago, I mean, we were looking at, like, the oxen caravan. That's like the, the transporters of, you know, materials materials and, you know, gold and all of that. Or at least that's where my mind goes to when I think of, like, the 1800s. And we have just gone so far. I mean, we, we've just advanced so far in technology in, like, 200 years. Now we're talking about literally mining on the, the literal moon. I mean, maybe you don't think uh, it is as big of a deal as I do, but I don't know. I just think that is, like, super cool. I don't know if within our lifetime we are going to have actual confirmed uh, communication and interaction with aliens, you know, like, actually 100% confirmed. I don't know if that will happen, but what I am sure about is that we will definitely be mining on the moon, as crazy as it sounds, uh, very much within our lifetime and, uh, well, specifically within the next decade.